So um, um, I just wanted to say, um, you know, I, I, I did the song today, uh, between yesterday and today. Uh, I just posted uh, the, the Liberation of Souls. It's, um, you know, it, I'm really proud of it because um, I'm just showing the different instruments that I've playing. And, um, and I'm really, like, sitting, standing there. I mean, I, like, I had to feel, feel what it feels like to be a prisoner. You know, I had to feel, I was in a mindset last night, yesterday and today, right, like, trying to, trying to put together that song um, that represented, like, the, the torture that the souls go through. So, um, but regardless of that, uh, yeah, I was good, but really, I'm, I'm reworking another one tonight, too, and, and that one's based on, uh, I think I'm going to put that, oh, I'll, I'll, you'll see later, um, if you, if you want to watch them. But, you know, but I gotta say, growing up, right, in this family, that, that I still don't believe is my real family. I believe they were somehow I got to they adopted me or they took me. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I don't believe they're my real family. But in this family that I grew up, I was I'm the only one that's a musician. Um, I played. My, I started playing guitar uh, by me working and then saving the money and then going and buying my own guitar uh, and my own equipment. Um, uh, you know, um, played it without any kind of any kind of support in my family. Did music, I, I, I drew, I, I guess I was painting too, in, in school, in high school, in no class, pretty some pretty good stuff. And again, never supported. Um, um, they did not want me to do anything creative. It's really wild. It's not like they, they were, it wasn't just that they, they weren't creative. They they didn't support anything. You know, it's says, boy, I'm going to school and learning banking and money, banking, money, money, and that's where I ended up. First job, you know, in the city, like a real job, and you know, a supermarket job. Um, I was in a bank, as a, uh, and then uh, in the mailroom doing some clerical work, uh, and then, uh, and then a little bit more, a little more, and then I developed an SRA program. But, but the thing is, I put aside the music and art. I put aside the stuff that I, that I, that I, that I should have been doing when I was 18, 19 years old. I put it aside because no support at all. Fucking jealous, stupid, uh, uh, ignorant, uh, 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 you know, money hungry uh, um, joke of a family that I had growing up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that, but I just, I don't even just thinking about it. But now, but now I'm back, you know, I'm, I'm at this stage of my life that, you know, I'm, I'm doing music now for 15 years. I got the inspiration, you know, definitely I've been doing uh, And laughing my divorce and the I did. And, and the thing of it is, I found. For all this process, even my friends, I know when, when they didn't really know me as a musician, they knew me more as a, as a banker or a programmer or the, the sound healer, you know, and even that's not really a musician, musician. They're healing, I'm healing them, and that's fine. After a while, I, just, I got sick of healing them. Why? Because they weren't, they weren't really being healed. They were, they were, they were, they were, um, they were temporarily, uh, you know, re, re, you know, adjusted. <laughs> You know, uh, until they went back, I got there. And they, didn't, they didn't listen to any of the things that I said. They listened to them, but they didn't really apply them. It's what I can tell. I don't know. Maybe some people did, but whatever. But now I find that, you know, all the creative stuff that I'm doing, this has, like, been one of the most creative periods of my life again. Um, you know, because I don't have a girlfriend telling me not to I have to do a home bunch of other things. I'm not, I don't have a job telling me I can't do it because you have to go to work. I can't, I don't have uh, a rent to pay and, and, and focus and I have to go out and make money just to pay the rent. So I could, um, so now I have to do all this hard work. And you know what I get? It's about zero support from anybody that considers my friends. Unless I'm, 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 I'm even hearing them in a, or, or, or being a little drum boy for them and having them dancing around while I, while I play drums and they, they make believe that they've been drums. Um, unless that happens, um, I get no support from any, anyone that I consider my friends. And I'm not somebody to really go out there and, and push myself. And stuff. I, no, I'm just not even that. I know, I, yeah, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I don't give a shit about the likes or anything. But, you know, some of those videos I posted on, on YouTube, they got like 12 views. 12 fucking views. And, and, the, things, and the things in them are so fucking... Uh, so so uh, that, that guy I mean, gets me a little bit. Thick. And, and, and the lack of a support. When I have something that, that, I, that I, like I did today, uh, um, um, yesterday and today, which is... I haven't done stuff like, I mean, that that good, I think, in that, in that, in that since... Uh, in Florida, those, those songs that I, that I so whatever. Um, at this point, 
so so I'm just really pretty much confused but but then 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 it just strikes me again okay well this is the human condition right? humans okay, are if it doesn't if it doesn't make a lot of money or if it doesn't let's see if it doesn't make a lot of money or if it doesn't entertain them to like entertain them they may laugh and, and, you know do something that, that's you know popular to a whole group of people and you have these people that are promoting it you know on, and you know to be able to, okay this is great they'll love it they'll, a whole bunch of people are going to love this you know? Because they're brainwashed to love it, whatever. Mm. If it's not that, then you don't really pay attention to it. You ignore it. We have a lot of good artists out there, great musicians, great overall creative people that get ignored while, while you know, uh, you know, uh, Beyonce and, and, and Jay-Z become billionaires while, while you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. Because they're, they're the ones who got promoted, and they got, the one person that got promoted made a lot of money. But if we just didn't do any of that, we'd all appreciate each other's album. You know, if we didn't, didn't have money to make us into billionaires. Whatever. Um, again, um, my, my, my whole, my whole, like, oh, this year, this year has been, like, overwhelming me. Uh, like, like eye-opening to what the human condition is. <laughs> it's a sad state of affairs. It's a, it's a big waste of time. It's a, it's a, it's a joke of a civilization. Uh, you know, anywhere else in the universe, you you you, you considered like, oh man, are they still stuck with the money thing? Shit, they haven't got past that. Well, if they don't get past that, then then they get nowhere up here, and you get nowhere up there. I guarantee. You. So I'll get you, I'm sure you're gonna ignore this one. And it's gonna get two views, uh, but um, I'm still gonna post it on YouTube. And you know what else? Uh, I'm gonna say that. Either whether whether it's YouTube or one of the or Facebook, that's um, behind behind my back, kind of like you know, Ooh. blocking a lot of these these videos. You know see, or uh, it's just the people that I consider my friends. I have like three thousand, four thousand fucking friends on Facebook. Uh, uh, nine seven hundred, like eight hundred, nine thousand uh, uh, actual followers. And I, if I do get a comment on any of these things, it's like, oh wow, well, oh are you okay, oh wow. Well. Well, if that happens to you, oh my God! You know, you should go, you should go this or go there or go this way. Or I'll get actually you some websites where you can do this and that. And this is the problem in society: you do not, you do not nurture and appreciate creativity within your children because you're looking at them and saying they gotta pay a lot of fucking money in life. That's the only way they're gonna be able to live is with money, right? So instead, you push them into these fucking stupid, ridiculous jobs that waste their fucking whole lifetime as they have kids and they have the, and the stress and more money. And then they, a few of them you know, do something illegal and they get busted. Uh, the other ones just commit suicide. Instead of nurturing their creativity, the creative side, um, appreciating that, let them, let them, let them, letting them appreciate, you know, letting them know you appreciate them, and having them grow up um, you know, focusing on. on and that inner hero instead of like going out there and making enough money making enough money you gotta go you gotta get a job be a doctor or lawyer a doctor or lawyer or you know what a doctor or lawyer or, or, a, or a, uh, an engineer one of those programmer guys yeah. Yeah, good luck with this it's, just, it's not gonna last you much longer good night alright so I wanna respond to uh, I guess I guess some comments over my my uh, my like this video and uh, comment and uh, post about um, about not really having any support growing up and having support being a musician and I ended up you know doing what my family wanted me to do is you know, make money in banking um, and then um, you know um, now later on in life that I'm you know disabled and stuff I'm not really getting any support things I'm doing. And you know, most of, <coughs> most of the comments were about um, how um, you know I'm <coughs> you know you well, you 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 know you're you're you you're killing yourself, man. You're putting yourself in these situations where you know where you know it's, you know it's not worth it. It's like you know it's you know it's it's you know what you're doing is you know you, you could do the art and we support it, but you don't have to do it the way we want you to do it. So one thing I have to say, right? Nothing that I've done in the last two years, not the paintings. Not the, you know, not the sound healing work, that's, that's different, but not the paintings, not the other music, like getting back into playing um, actual music, um, the way I want to do it. 
not doing the things that I want to do without having to worry about trying to sell them to people. So you know, when, when you have a, when you have a, when you have art, and then you try to sell it, it becomes a product, right? So the product then is something that you're selling, uh, and then you have to make sure that you always do um, something that is sellable, right? If not, you know, if you're a record company, uh, they, they throw you out, right? If, if, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're an art gallery and you know, you know, well, they don't like this kind of stuff, then you have to do the other stuff you were doing. Right? Nothing that I've done in the last two years would have been done. So, um, you know, and then if you say that about, uh, say, what's his name? Uh, that ended up, like, blowing his head off, uh, Van Gogh, right? Uh, nothing that he would have done up to the point that he blew his head off would have been done. Um, if he would have just, you know, went into, went into a psych ward and stayed there, took medication, and then, you know, went out and tried to paint again. See, the thing of it is, uh, these things that we go through in life uh, create the, the, the ability to then... Uh, use a creative process to let them go and free them. Right? So anybody that has criticism about the stuff that I've been doing for the last few years and the stuff that I continue doing and all oh, the plant medicine you're doing, all oh, you see, if you would have not done the plant medicine and just just done the artwork without telling anybody you're doing the plant medicine, or oh, well, you would have done not done it at all, then you know you you would have been fine. See, the thing of it is, um, I'm telling you now, nothing that I've done in the last two years and the things that I've done in the last few years, I don't know about selling anything. I'm not selling my artwork. I'm not selling this video. I'm not selling anything I'm doing. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it based on, based on what uh, my creator, uh, uh, my spirit guides, and, and the energy around me is, is, is asking me to do. And I do it um, in such a way that, that, that um, um, you know, um, needs to express also my activism and the things that I have to say, and also my, my DNA and the purpose that I'm here. Again, uh, with, with those people that say all those things about, you know, you got you to remember, uh, you take a step back and, and, and listen to what I'm saying. I, my, my soul is a human. I ascended uh, years ago uh, into another, into, into another uh, dimension, which is, uh, which is right now uh, Arcturus. And that's where my soul resides. Uh, and then, and then Arcturus is much different than, than this place. It's not, it's, it's like, you know, this is a learning experience. Arcturus, Arcturus is that when you learn everything, you get there and then you, you're able to do things. Nothing that I've done up until this point for the last few years would have been done. I would have still been doing sound healing work. I've been still in, with my girlfriend. I would have still been in the house. And every day I would have been, my body would have been like, you need to get, do this. You need to get out and get out of here and do the things that you were supposed to do at this point. That's what I was told to do. That's what I've been told. And if you don't believe me, then please go away. Don't listen to me. Don't, 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 don't support me. Don't, don't do whatever you want. But if you're going to criticize me for things that I'm doing, right? Oh, we like the old John used to much better than this John used to. The old John used to was, you didn't know me was an activist in Occupy Wall Street. Because this is what I did in Occupy, for two months in Occupy Wall Street. Then we just said it ended. And then, I, and then we all got, got arrested. And then we got thrown out and we had nowhere to go. And then I got getting braced and then I got sick and I, now I recovered from it. The thing of it is, what I was doing before 2012 was necessary. What I'm doing now, uh, before 2025, 2023 and then 2025 is, is, the, is the Kali Yuga, the end date of Kali Yuga. That is the most important thing that I've ever done. Um, if I don't finish what I'm doing, then, then you know, with the help of the star seeds, uh, the civilization really doesn't have a chance to survive. That's what I've been told. You don't want to believe that? It's fine. But well, wait till 2025 and see what happens. You know, if nothing happens in 25, you laugh at me. If, if, but if you see that thing coming at you, all of a sudden you're like, holy shit! That's that's what usually I, I you know, I, every time this has happened in the past. And I've been through a lot of civilizations where this has happened, and I've been here at the exact same point. Uh, as a human soul at that point, because uh, that was part of my my, 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 my ascension process. You know, now, now I'm back down. You don't believe that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Believe your story. Believe whatever story you want to believe about, about Jesus Christ or, or Muhammad or whatever the fuck you want to believe. Believe that story. Don't listen to me. But, but if you want to believe their stories, why don't you want to believe mine? Because I'm crazy and they're not. What makes you believe they weren't crazy? Huh? So, uh, the bottom line is, okay, the bottom line is, um, the things that I've done to this point had to be done for me to create the stuff that I've done, for me to, to, to exercise my creativity, and to me, for us to get to a certain point as, as a civilization, you, as a human civilization, where you might actually survive uh, past 25, which at this point, you still are, are pretty likely not to survive. That's where I am. That's where I'm going. So if you're going to criticize me for the stuff that I've done for the last few years, do me a favor. Just go somewhere else. Go criticize somebody else. Go go if you don't like my posts about it, then don't read them. Unfriend me. Unfollow me. Whatever the fuck you want to do, do. But if you're going to come back and criticize me and say, we like the old one better, you should become the old one again that we like, so then, so then, so then you can, and then you can do your artwork and you know, then we'll appreciate it even more. I don't, I'm not, I'm not doing my artwork for you. 
Numahara to, 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 to help star seeds activate that, that are necessary right now, that are that are desperately needed right now to change the course of this of, of the civilization. Without these star seeds being activated and doing what they were supposed to do, which they've already stopped, they've already limited and they've already blocked. Who blocked them? The wealth class. Why? Because they know very well that this is the way, this is the only way. Uh, the civilization world is going to survive and they don't want the civilization they, they're, they're parasites they're waiting for the civilization to die and then wait for the next one so, um, again you don't believe that go believe in the story go believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God and, and, he, and, he, and he died for, for to, 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 to save all you people believe that instead and then you crucified him because he, he was supposed to be crucified and he, he died on the cross because he, you know, he, he took all your sins and abolished them by dying on the cross. He took them all on the cross and said, okay, I'm going to die on the cross for you guys. So now all your sins are gone. Your sins are gone yet? 2,000 years later, your sins are gone yet? It is a heaven on earth yet? So, um, I do think that I do the things that I I am doing the things that I'm doing because it is necessary for me to do. You don't believe that? My DNA is telling me that. To the point yeah, where if I didn't do this, I, that's when I feel. Back in time, if you see it, you notice? And me being at the place that I am right now, and doing things I'm doing right now, and here, is helping me get to that. Because sitting home, uh, watching TV every night with my next girlfriend, and then, you know, and then getting up to go to work, and then hailing people, the sound healing stuff, and then going home and go, oh, I hear some people tonight, I'm so happy. Saying that, right. did that for enough, but it's not working out. Now we're getting to a point where it's worth smooth. You need to explore how it's going to be. And that's what I'm doing. And uh, again, if you don't believe that, I'm sorry. Wait till 2021 and see what happens. But, 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 and many times, uh, and in many past civilizations that I've been to this point, and they've said that to me, you know, you know, you know why? And I said, you know, the 25 line. They were surprised. They looked up and they saw it. They saw the end coming. And then that's when they realized. But you know what? trying to show you people that, um, that uh, no matter what you think, once it's too late, it is too fucking late. Get it? No? Then go away. Stop listening to me. Don't bump me. But the old John Euster, the old the one, the sound healer guy, he was recovering from doing Bereshim and he needed to heal. And in, in the process he was healing other people. That's done. Now this is the, the old John Euster, that's the new John Euster again. That's, uh, uh, that, 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 is, that is being called by your creator to help this civilization survive. Because as it is now, you are not going to survive the new energy that's coming down in 2025, December 21st, 2025. It's not going to happen. That energy that's coming down is going to completely wipe, wipe, wipe you all away. Wipe every human being away because your energy level will not be ready. Your, your body will not be ready to tolerate the new energy level because of what you are doing to each other. For money, for greed, for profit, for competition, for all these things that, that, that the wealth class want you to keep on doing now. Don't forget to go to work and make some money and then you know, if you work better, well, you'll make better money. And when you get yeah, better money, yeah, you're going to be oh, so much happier with all that good money. Because all that good money is not going to save you from what's about to happen. You know why? It's not supposed to. It's supposed to kill you. And that's what's doing. Namaste, namaste. 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 Hare Hare Shambhu. Shambhu is, is the other name for Shiva. It's also the earth. Earth. So in other words, it's the human form of the Shiva. Which means that when Shambhu is no longer, either he dies, or he gets to the point where it's, it's, where it's coming up to 25, and he's not, he's not, he's not helping us. And the Shiva comes down, it's true. So I, had, so I had caught again today, this time in Ocean. Uh, this is regarding another matter. I haven't really talked about it, but it's, uh, it's, uh, they're looking to resolve it, which is good. Um, and I just gotta say again, the whole concept, and I was listening to other people, you know, they, were, they came before me, and used to these virtual uh, courtrooms, and listen to everybody's story, uh, and why they're there. I wanna say again, it's like, money got them there, right? Money, money. The, the main, the main problem, the main cause of their, their, them, them being in front of a judge and jury and judging and prosecuting and all this other shit um, is, is money. Right? 
money, right? So then, so then, so then the other thing. So then, so then, if there was no money and we shared everything, you didn't like tribal cultures never had a, a court system, you know. You know, you know the, re the reason that the court system was established was because of money, because because people do things to each other because of money. Bottom line, uh, you know. Uh, so we we lived in tribal type of existence where where, where where we all shared everything equally and there was no, nothing nothing no money involved nothing no I don't, nothing to corrupt it right uh, there would be no need for a judge there would be no 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 need for, for, for lawyers prosecutors a jury there would be no need because no one would be committing a crime maybe you have something that that you know that that's, that, that might be that that, that that might be doing something you know bad but but that that is that is the extent of it. That was that was the extent of it. You know? So so if there was no money, there would be no need for a court system, a judge, a jury, uh, um, prosecutors, executioners. All these things were all related to money taxing during the uh, during the the, the, the the period of, of royalty and kings and queens. They had the money. They had coins. They had and they taxed all the people. Their their their, their, their people just just so, so they could pay the army to fucking to to, 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 to take get the money get, get the tax money from them. You see, so it's all related to money. Everything regarding the court system. So if we had no money, we we'll share everything with you. There would be no money the court system. Yeah. Think about it. Hmm? Travel cultures had no judges, no juries, no lawyers, no prosecutors. No. All those people would be losing jobs, but maybe they'd be working on, you know, the cure for cancer and stuff. Get it? And if you don't get this, then you'll get the problems. All right, so I'm walking uh, to this local place around here to get to get some breakfast. I um for my uh, trial. Um, and you know, I you know, I was because yeah, because shop rides don't have breakfast stuff. You know, I have danishes. So I was, uh, I was walking and uh, something pretty wild, it's very weird happening, the first time ever. I'm walking and all of a sudden I, I feel a tap on my head, boom. What the hell, look around, just tapped me on my head. Now I was walking with a coffee and a, uh, and, uh, and a Danish that I bought like a, uh, an apple or something or whatever. Beef. And uh, I was eating it slowly because I, can, I can't chew really. So, so I had to like almost like dissolve it in my mouth for swallowing it. So, so I'm doing that, and I got this tap my head, and I look up and I see this black bird sitting on the ledge, like 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 <laughs> across from me. He's like walking on the ledge, like looking at me, going like, "Yeah, that was me, dude." <laughs> what the fuck? It was you? Like, oh wow! So so I so I took a piece of the, the Danish, uh, the, the the apple turnover, is, uh, and I threw it on the ground, and he came. Came directly to it and picked it up and flew away. <laughs> so, so that bird um, actually just sits there waiting for people to walk around and put on breakfast time with food in their hands. And if they have food in their hands, he taps them on the head and says, "Hey, man, don't forget about me." <laughs> I kind of wish I had a whole, uh, a whole thing of, of, uh, of bread to give him, you know. So, I did I gave him a piece and he flew away. Fucking flew away happily. You know? And then, like you know, didn't do a bird's thing on me, you know, like the movie birds. You know? Got into my hair and I'm like, you asshole! I said I wanted a bigger piece, you know. <laughs> so yeah, so like I said, I'm walking to get some breakfast. Trying to get some you know, coffee, some breakfast. I got some coffee ready. I'm gonna get another cup to get myself ready. Um, for trial. I think it's a trial. I don't even know. I mean, they, they might offer me a plea deal this time and see what happens. But I'm not taking any plea deal that I have to do anything, any time or any kind of like none of that shit. I'm not taking any of that. If they, if they give me anything other than downgrading it to a uh, like they did in, uh, in Neptune, downgrading it to like a, you know walking in drug zone shit bullshit like that, uh, then 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 I'll do it. Then I'll take it, and it just fines and you know I'll pay them you know as I can pay them. But if they do anything other than that, I'm saying not guilty. I want to go to trial. Let's take it all the way to trial. I don't give a shit. I'm just take it all the way to trial. I, you know, I'm facing whatever charges, whatever. But let a jury decide. Let a jury decide after I tell them my side of the story. Because one thing about the court system, that always, always, always is fucked up, is that they don't let you hear the, your side of the story until, the, until like it's your turn to talk. 
But now we talk and we tell you what to do. You have to do this, that, your lawyer, your this, apply, apply for uh, 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 yeah, I didn't get a lawyer. Yeah, oh, did you apply for uh, fi- uh, for the uh, for lawyer if, uh, if, uh, with uh, income uh, income requirements? And public defense? No. I don't need a public defense. All I gotta do is say what I said on the, on the video before and say it again. And I will keep on repeating it. No matter what you throw at me, I'm gonna keep on repeating it that I use plant medicine as part of my shamanic practice that I've been doing since the age of 14. So you cannot stop me there. That is my um, tribal right. And you've taken a plant that I use medicinally, made it illegal, and forced me to go on the street to buy something that's down, that's that's very you know low grade of it. But you know what? It still does what it's supposed to do. And guess what? My jaw, it doesn't hurt that much anymore. You know, you know, there was, you know, it was, it was considered, I think, a uh, anesthesia at first. Uh, uh, the the cocoa plant uh, was used before they made it illegal. And you know, think of this. We got a fight. We My jaw's feeling pretty good. Fights. I mean, you open it; doesn't hurt that much. I mean, chewing hurts. Because these teeth down here. But you see, the Zimbabwe are gone. I haven't taken any antibiotics. Zimbabwe. I haven't taken any of the medication that they gave me. The only thing I've been doing is the plant medicine that I that I use. The only plant medicine that I use, right? Yeah, so you tell me why the fuck I should believe them, and why the fuck I should give them my insurance. I, 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 they're already uh, trying to hit me up for the insurance man because my insurance. I told my insurance man that 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 they they did a uh, unnecessary uh, uh, jaw wiring on me. The revolution won't be me. televised. So because, because of that, the revolution televised, um, it's a revolution. You man, I must not have turned it down, and now they're coming it's back to joke. me looking for me to pay them their money. And then they say, oh, come in with a proper ID and shows proof of, of, of income and show proof of, of residence. And then we'll try to get you the state. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't give a shit, no. Uh-huh. You can go fuck yourself. I did not want that. And you forced that upon me? Just like you did you did uh, uh, two years ago when you forced me into a, um, a mental institution? You did that to me? So I'm not paying you then, and I'm not paying you now. Right? Now try to sue me. You can't, right? That medical expenses don't even come up on, on, uh, on your credit report. Hey, it doesn't matter because my, my credit is shot anyway. I don't give a shit. But one thing I do give a shit about is the fact that you're throwing human beings into cages for something that has been used for thousands of years and is no more harmful than coffee. Think about it. The only reason if coffee was illegal, it'd be, be the same thing, right? We be, be trying to get coffee and then, and then, then they try to, oh, I, got, I got some really good coffee. This is the best coffee man from Colombia, man. Come on. Do this man. Oh man, yeah. thank you. Oh, no, no, And then you go fucking, the police come in. You know, they come in. Well, we heard that there was coffee being sold here. Let's raid the whole place, the whole house. Because coffee, coffee's not allowed. Coffee is illegal now. How would you feel? It's no worse than coffee, trust me. The only reason it's a problem is because it's illegal. Yeah. Oh, it's robbed. My jaw broken. The first time. You guys 
Queen. Alright, I'm, I'm recording something right now.